Good morning. If we could ask everybody to take their seats. Thank you very much. Um, uh, good morning. Um, this next briefing is uh, entitled The Economy Moving from Gray to Green in the Shipping Sector. Uh, today we are joined by um, the Minister for Foreign Affairs for Denmark, His Excellency Mr. Jeppe Kofod. Uh, to his left is Mr. Soren Toft, the chairman of the Maersk Container Industries. To his left is Mr. Jacques Vandermeyen, um, the CEO of the Antwerp Port Authority. And to his right is Ms. Rachel Kite, the CEO of Sustainable Energy for All. Um, our participants will each make opening remarks and then take a few short questions. Um, we are told that we have an end time of 10, 1130, so we will aim for that. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, and, and also uh, welcome. Uh, I should be very brief in my remarks uh, because of time. First of all, to fight climate change, we need two things. We need leadership, and we need partnership. Uh, and both leadership and partnership are uh, to be front runners in, in, um, in, um, in this fight, and that's exactly what this coalition is about. Currently, shipping, you know, account for 2 to 3% of, uh, of global carbon emissions. Uh, emission estimated to increase 50 to 200 percent if we do not act. So ensuring, for example, CO2 neutral vessels in 2030 uh, is a key to long-term goal of decarbonizing shipping as a whole. Um, and the government of Denmark, we, uh, we are very proud to be partnering uh, with the shipping industry, with the port industry, with all uh, in the value chain, because uh, we can see that uh, on shipping, it's a... Um, it's 20% of the emissions on, on ships itself, but the whole industry ports and, and networks and infrastructure account for 80%. So we need to link these things, and we need to do it in a, in a public-private partnership. My own country, Denmark, we, um, we have a very ambitious target of um, reducing uh, carbon emissions by 70% in 2030, uh, the whole country. Uh, and part of that is, of course, uh, to show the world that we can do that in a, an effective just way where we also ensure we, we will um, do it in partnership with, with the business community, with investors, and with operators. In the shipping industry, I think it's an industry where we um, now see action. And uh, I have to say, I'm very proud to see how much you have done in the shipping industry, port industry, um, and also to show the way for other part of transportation, because that's a whole sector we need to transform, to transist, if we want to really tackle climate change in the future. So with these words, I'll just thank you, and uh, I look forward, as uh, the Danish government, to work to implement the vision uh, of a zero-carbon emission shipping industry. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Foreign Minister. And um, being Danish, I'm uh, obviously very pleased with the, with the steps and the ambitions that, that the Danish government has, uh, has taken. But uh, being um, a representative of the global maritime sector, the global uh, shipping sector, um, what I would like to say is that uh, climate is a, is a real problem. Uh, it's a problem that we need to solve. It's a problem which we have to lean in to and solve, even though we don't know all the solutions. Um, shipping is a driver of global trade, but in order for shipping to be relevant in the medium to long term, shipping also needs to find ways to decarbonize uh, itself. But shipping cannot do this uh, on their own. Uh, shipping needs to work with all stakeholders in the value chain, be that upstream in terms of energy providers, uh, fuel providers, be that in the manufacturing, in the innovation, together with ports and many other actors. And therefore, uh, from a as a shipping uh, representative, but also as a representative of Maersk, I'm very, very pleased that we can today announce this broad co coalition that really gives me hope that we can find real and broadly founded solutions uh, for, the, uh, for the industry. Uh, as Maersk, we have been a leader in, in terms of energy efficiency the past uh, decade or more. Uh, but we can also see that even though we have improved our energy efficiency tremendously, our total emissions have remained flat. And that speaks uh, loads to the fact that, obviously, the real solution needs to be found by finding new and different energy sources, new and different innovation uh, in order to make sure that we can really not only abate, but really also reduce uh, the emissions. So today is a great day uh, for the ship industry, and I'm uh, really looking forward to see how this will help us in the future. Thank you. Um, as... Uh 
representative of uh, ports and uh, leading ports in the world. Uh, not only Port of Antwerp, but also Port of Rotterdam and Vancouver and Aarhus are uh, mm -hmm. uh, already part of uh, the coalition. So uh, very proud to be here. And uh, of course, the decarbonization of uh, the shipping industry will uh, take place on land. We will have to, uh, to build the necessary infrastructure. Uh, we will have to support uh, research and development on uh, alternative fuels. So it's uh, very important to have this kind of cross-border coalition, uh, internationally, of course, uh, because we have to align everyone. And we know that this is the most uh, tricky part. Uh, having a coalition is, of course, a very good thing, and a very broad one is even a better thing. But, uh, well, we have to bring hope uh, these days. And I think uh, to uh, all the ones who are uh, uh, marching for, uh, for climate, it's, uh, it's more than ever time to say there are solutions, and uh, we will not find a uh, killing application, uh, just uh, the, the carriers or the ports, it will come from a broader coalition. So it's time to uh, join forces and uh, to bring everyone together. And uh, uh, of course, we as a port of, uh, of Antwerp, we want to be a frontrunner. Uh, we want to lead by example. That's why we recently announced that we will uh, build the first hydro tug. It's, uh, of course, a small event. It's just a tugboat on hydrogen, but it's maybe the first step in a, in a, a very uh, big thing. So uh, happy to be here, happy to join forces, and uh, we will make the best of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to put this in the context of everything else that's happening today and everything that needs to happen from today through to December 2020 uh, with the next round of ratcheting up of ambition by every country. Um, as the Minister said, nothing gets done without partnership and without leadership. And so we've had the negotiation. We're not negotiating today. This is about action. The Secretary-General asked for... Um, asked for, for member states, asked for industry, asked for cities, civil society, everybody to come together and push forward action. And what you see is, outside of the negotiation, a group of countries, cities, ports in this case, um, people across the whole of the value chain of shipping coming together and saying, we're the leadership group, we're going to stretch ambition, we're going to... Uh, Imagine a world where we have zero vessels, uh, zero emission vessels by 2030, and we're going to lead the way. And then you'll see others joining in. And these kinds of coalitions of the working or coalitions of the willing have been extremely effective in other areas up to now. And now it's shipping's turn. And what's really interesting is that other parts of the transportation sector, who too also need to have a slingshot of ambition uh, coming out of the summit, are beginning to look at what shipping is doing, this value chain approach, public and private, and saying, OK, this might be the way that we springboard action. So this is a small coalition to begin with, although we've already got 70 private sector partners and a number of countries involved. But this will gather steam over the next few months and uh, I think speed up the uh, arrival at a target of zero, ves uh, zero emissions vessels, uh, which we need by 2030 or, or, or even earlier. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to our speakers. If anybody has any questions, we have time for one or two. Okay, great. Thank you so much and thank you all for joining us today. <laughs>